Welcome or welcome back to Barrio Tales. Today's video will be about something that happened involving the West Side Wemos gang. At 11.30 p.m. on January 12, 2008, Fernando Ochoa's brother and a friend were sitting outside a home in Wilmington, drinking, listening to music. Ernesto Romero, a member of the West Side Wemos gang, approached them after Romero's godbrother told Romero that he had been choked earlier that night by the friend of Fernando Ochoa's brother. Romero attacked the friend. Fernando's brother joined the fight and was knocked out. When he came to, he learned that his car, an Infiniti QX4, and some other belongings had been stolen. Romero and others left the scene in the Infiniti. Romero went to the home of his friend and fellow Westside Wemos gang member Alfred McEwlins. They learned that Fernando, who was a higher ranking member of the Westside Wemos gang, was looking for whoever beat up his brother and demanding return of the Infiniti. At the time of the attack, Romero did not know one of the men was Fernando's brother. Romero was calling everyone trying to reach the person who had the infinity so they could return it to Fernando and explain what happened. They were delayed from doing so that night because they had to take Alfred's girlfriend to the hospital after she cut her hand. The following day, January 13, 2008, Romero, McEwlins, and Ochoa were supposed to meet at a house on Ravenna Avenue in Wilmington. That was a West Side We Must Gang hangout. By the time Romero and Alfred arrived, the Affinity had already been parked down the street out of view of the house. Alfred went to the front of the house to smoke a cigarette and Romero went into the backyard. Romero heard Fernando Ochoa and Alfred McEwlins arguing. Fernando was looking for Romero. Romero began walking toward the front of the house. He heard Fernando tell Alfred, you're not going to touch my little homie no more. As Romero rounded the front corner of the house, he saw Fernando shoot Alfred. Romero ran to the backyard and hopped a fence, fearing that he would also be shot. A neighbor who lived on Ravenna Avenue heard about four gunshots at around 12.25 p.m. on January 13, 2008. When he looked out the window, he saw a Hispanic man walk toward the driver's side of a white Dodge Magnum and then drive away. The man was about 25 to 30 years old and was wearing a black hoodie. At the time, Fernando was 27 years old and always drove his mother's white Dodge Magnum. Alfred McEwens died of multiple gunshot wounds, suffering wounds to his chest, abdomen, neck, and grazing wounds to his arm, hand, and side of his head. Four 9mm Luger spear shell casings and two bullet fragments were recovered from the scene. On January 14, 2008, police executed a search warrant on Fernando's house. They recovered two 9mm Luger spear bullets in a dresser in a bedroom. A piece of mail addressed to Fernando was found on top of the dresser. Fernando's fingerprints were found inside and outside of his mother's Dodge Magnum. A day or two after the shooting, Romero saw Alfred's mother at a car wash. Romero was crying and emotional. She told Romero that if he knew anything about the shooting, he should tell the police. Romero was arrested that day for vehicle theft and gave a statement to police about the shooting, identifying Fernando as the shooter. On August 17, 2011, three and a half years after the murder, Fernando was arrested in Tijuana, Mexico. After getting extradited back to L.A., during the trial, witness testimony, DNA fingerprints, and ballistics evidence were introduced, as well as Ernesto Romero's interrogation tape identifying fellow Westside Wemos gang member Fernando Ochoa as the shooter who killed fellow Westside Wemos gang member Alfred McEwlins. Fellow Westside Wemos gang member Fernando Ochoa was convicted of the first degree murder of fellow Westside Wemos gang member Alfred McEwlins with gang and gun enhancements. Fernando Ochoa received a prison sentence of 50 years to life.